and as you can see it's unopened it's uh jessica jones from the netflix show i love the i love this i don't like the last season of jennifer jones uh, jessica jones i thought it, was, it started out really trash it was okay it, it really the writing really dropped but the first um I think the first two seasons or so, or the first season, was brilliant. And that's why I got this. I saved up for this. I paid it off on a weekly basis, a couple of bucks. Uh, it took me a little while. Okay. So it's got this beautiful um, little um, cardboard, um, you know, whatever they call it. A slip case, whatever. Just, just amazing. Beautiful picture. Black and white. This amazing. And I've read the comic books. And I've got the first graphic novel. And um, it's one of my favorites. So let's do this. All right. It's all three of them unopened, right? Let's see what this is like. Let me bring this down a bit so you guys can see a bit um, better. Excuse me. There we go. All right. There we go. Okay. Unboxing the just Net, um, Netflix uh, version of just just get Jones. Let's hit the box first and see what's in here. Okay. Alright, so that's basically nothing in there apart from this little thing. So they've got this uh, little licensed product for Diamond Select. Yeah, the same diamond that's basically closed now. So let's see. So they got the whole. Uh, what is this? The dioramas. Um, I'm just checking for Jessica Jones on this. I'm just seeing if they're um, on there and what the imagery is. I guess they have all separate ones. So they're not showing the Jessica Jones ones on there. So this is all the different ones. I think uh, um, this is this range here. Uh, the gallery range is what they're saying. Uh, sculpted by Gentle Giant. So as seen on... Netflix, and then they got the Avengers Infinity War um, there. Right, they got the Defenders. And in the back, they got the other one, other characters. And even that one there, um, I'll unbox this tomorrow. I've already unboxed it because I love this character. It was my first one of the big ones that I bought. So as you can see, I'm about to unbox this one as well. So, yeah. Okay. Nope, I forgot. Sometimes they have solid tape. Yep, they do. They have a solid tape here. And they have a long solid Oh, no, short solid tapes. So there's two on each side. Is there one at the bottom just to make sure before I break something? Popping out. And there you go. Let me just bring this down a bit more. So there's amazing Jessica Jones doing her punch. Uh, let me just get this closer. There you go. It's not... I think they could have done a better job with the detail there on the face because of the pricing on this. And um, yeah. But um, it kind of looks like her, but doesn't. That's a weird thing, doesn't it? It's like, like you look at... Um, where is it? So, if you look at that, right, you look at the face there of, um, I've forgotten her name now, man. Wait, it doesn't even say who the actress was on there. Okay, well, it's... Alex, if you're still watching, uh, can you tell me um, who the actress was on that? I've just forgotten. I might remember her in a sec. But it's got a beautiful little um, 
um, um, setting there, right? Um, gutter, which is pretty cool. I uh, like that. On a street, uh, it's got a little spray can. Just say spray paint on it, as you can see. No smell. Yeah, so it's a very decent plastic. Very hard plastic, no smell. She's, yeah, got her cool boots on. Details on the boots are great. Um, and yeah, everything's pretty cool on this, but the face does not look like the actress. Because I would have thought that, like, if they're going to go that far with every other detail, why not make the face look like Jessica, um, the actress? Okay. So, yeah, but I mean, as you can see, I mean, like, so much detail. Check it out on the jacket. Whoops. And, I, and, I, and I've had to do a jacket for um, Incredible, as you can, um, as you might have seen on the, if you're reading the Incredible comics, man, it, it takes a lot of effort <laughs> to really do a good job on the actual art for these things to make sure that, you know, every sort of little things, uh, you yeah, know, creases and stuff, uh, the lumping together of like, um, of, you know, cre um, creases and lumping together of clothing together all that you know, hand movements all that um also what fists look like what fingers look like how to do it without making it cartoony so yeah so everything on here is really good apart from the face does not look like it right so yeah my first unboxing and if you're just joining that's the first uh unboxing of the netflix jessica jones defenders um yeah uh, uh figuring very very cool very large uh, yeah okay that's jessica jones from the gallery range by um i think it was who was that that made it where's it in a piece of paper i think it's gentle giant was the, um or the sculptures on this um here we go yep sculpted by gentle uh, gentle giant oh no sorry sorry my bad uh, I think the Defenders range uh, sculpted by Tat Amala, Amila. Everybody else seems to be, um, yeah, as you can see, everybody else looks pretty good on this. Right? I want to get the, uh, hopefully I can get me my, um, my Punisher. I love Punisher. And I'll, I'll, and, I'll, and I'll do my whole range of Punisher toys and comics tomorrow. And uh, so that you guys can, yeah, something different tomorrow. So I'll just, yeah, do your whole Punisher thing. That's off the top of my head. Not planned. So yeah, all right, we'll do that tomorrow. So next up is Old Man Logan. Now, Mark Miller, right? And I just want to say that first, that first, first series is amazing. Old Man Logan, let me put, pop me down again and slightly up, is amazing. That, that, um, that eight issue, I think it was, of set you know of a future world where um most of the heroes are dead is a great great book great book and um if you can get a hold of the graphic novel or the digital um uh, copies to read uh, by um you know do that read it it's really good oh um it's got a bit of dust here so i'm just gonna wipe it off because it's just been sitting there i haven't opened it as you can see it's still got the tag on um haven't opened it since since i got it the strange thing about this one it doesn't have the flap that jessica jones had i mean it's the same range right so why don't you have the flap it just seems like a bit of a ripoff if you're gonna have it in one but maybe because it's a bit more expensive item all right so this is the gallery range again right and um, on the back you got all the all the details about who he is, what he's going to look like, and as you can see, whoops, yep, there you go, he's got his fists up, and he's got his uh, claws out, all right, let's do this, nope, get this um, out of the way, Oh, maybe I should have looked a bit better in the box when I bought it, because, oh, no, the box doesn't show it. 
Okay, let me just show before I, uh, why I said oh. If you can see this, right? Hopefully you guys can see that. There is nothing that shows you what's about to come. This is just the image, the front thing. So like I said, there was no flap, right? So back again. This this one's got the seller tape down, that little package pamphlet that came with it. So that the other one was loose, so this was um laying down. Let me see. Alright, so this one has some other range of um toy um figurines. And you can see there's a Wolverine with a different look, um, different stance, I should say. And then on the back, you've got, I think it's the same as the other one. Yeah, the other range that was there. Is that? Oh, it's Medusa. And so that's all the females, but yeah. And of course, the terrible Miss Marvel. Uh, anyway, the new Miss Marvel. I, I love the old Miss Marvels. Uh, Captain Marvel, I should say, not Miss Marvel. Okay, so, all right. Oh, no cell tape on this one. All right, so no cell tape and no flop. So no holding it together in case it moves around. Okay, so check it out. Isn't that cool? I mean, that's why I got it, because it's just, and I love, what I love is overalls, I've, I've long coats, I love long coats, I have about two or three of them, uh, my first one, which made me fall in love with my, with my dad's one that he got of, of his um, New Zealand customs friend, and, um, and, and I had it for ages, like I was to wore around everywhere, because I just loved it, in the 2000s, and I left it somewhere and got stolen. Or ended up somewhere else and and i missed it so later later on i paid another 80 dollars for a brand new one all right on trade me so i bought eight of them. and then i also have a gray one i'm uh, sorry a beige one that i wear because i bought a beige one because of course uh john constantine wears it hellblazer wears it johnny boy wears it and so i i love long coats it just has a, such a distinct thing so you know one of my characters will have something like that because I just love long coats so if you can see he doesn't once again he doesn't look like the comic book um, old man Logan face if you look at that one compared to this it doesn't look like it and I, and I don't know why they couldn't do that because look at all the other details like check out the first here oops sorry let me see if I can um Put the flash on if i can get this no it's not coming up anyway so but what what i said oh about right is this in the back so you got the captain the captain america shield and you got the top half of the helmet and the top half of um iron man as you can see. So he's standing on the rocks, uh, sort of a rocky mound, um, hollow there at the bottom there. But this is a quite a good solid uh, piece of plastic and it's really, really nice. And the details are really good. And once again, like I said, like everything on these things are really detailed. Oh, nearly snapped the, <laughs> grabbed the old, um, claws really think so they're really well done there they're, they're not like really cheap plastic you're right yeah christopher lumbert in the highlander he was calling cool his raincoat um alex says yeah they were, he was and this sort of thing it's just his raincoats are really really cool man and like especially you know the beige ones is just such an iconic thing um yeah and this this it's just such a cool thing i mean it's just something you can just wrap around on you and just you know stop the rain or or have it as a, you know, just to wrap around your legs if you're getting cold, or, or just have it open and flapping. So, yeah, so amazing detail on everything except the face. But I can, I can, you know, unlike that, one, unlike the um, the Jessica Jones one, I'll let this one pass because it's it's got enough details. Like you look at the like, over here, right on this head, forehead, right. 
um, the strain, whatever they call it, I don't know. But yeah, look at, just look at across the body here with the sh um, shape, with, um, with the creases, with the muscles, tones, and then you got the nice little um, ripples across here. And, you know, just amazing details of the jacket. Um, whoops, sorry. Of the jacket um, um, sleeves. But also, I mean, the, um, the blades are really good. The blades are really good. They're not, uh, I found that sometimes they have the very cheap, uh, not very cheap, but very, uh, they're not strong, right? They're too flexible. This one, it's very, it's strong enough, right? It's, it's strong enough to handle it. So, yeah. Um, and another thing, I just noticed that there's this, you know, smash here in, in, um, in our Iron Man's chest, right? And we've got a blast from something. Right, but it's just so cool to see this at the back of it. So they haven't really wasted. Um, I think it's Tara. Um, who, let me see who um, did the artwork on this. I might be able to find it in the other one. Where are you? Where's that one? Phil Ramirez. So Phil Ramirez is the one who did the um, artwork on this. You can see it there. Uh, and he did a good job. He didn't waste the base, right? Just like the other one, they didn't waste the base space. And I think this is really, really good. This is really, really good. I like it. It's nice and solid. But of course, you know, you're going to have to make sure that it's not too, you know, that the, um, wherever you're displaying it, it'll be in my cabinet. Uh, and the boxes, sometimes I just um, recently, um, about two, uh, the start of the year or end of last year, I boxed everything. I put them all in the boxes and even the um what was it, the pop funko pops i put them all in the boxes because i always keep the boxes if i if i remember to and i just put in the cupboard so the top of my uh, cupboard here in the wardrobe is full of boxes that aren't already in you know in these things so they go all they go back in the boxes and they just get displayed as boxes because it's easy to display them if you don't have a space you just pile boxes on top of each other so, like I said, this is this is a really, really good, um, you know, really, really good figure. Got the old Iron Man, and I love the fact that Iron Man's on there. And I'm sure Sandy would like appreciate the fact that Iron Man's there represented. And then you've also got the Captain America fans. And talk about Captain America, I don't like somebody else taking over his roles if they already have their own, uh, if they have their own thing. Like the, uh, I can't remember the guy with. Um, the black guy with the hawk uh, flying thing. I don't want it to be Captain America. And as far as I'm concerned, Infinity was the last last uh, Avengers thing I'm going to watch. I'll just go back and watch those. I don't want to watch anything else that comes afterwards because they just change too much and they just do it for gender reasons, not for just for actual good storytelling. But yeah, let me just pop out um, Jessica Jones back up. So you can see, um, like I was saying, you got a uh, I forgot to talk about the pipe here, apart from just the um, gutter there, but this, you get a spray can, really cool, and you've got the pipe. So I, I think I've got a um, a Luke Cage that I'm getting, right? And so, because, yeah, um, I like the character. I've seen the first season, I love the first season, haven't seen the first se second season. And, yeah, so I guess that's me for today.